Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and in this video we'll be looking into very specific security needs that everyone worried about. So how you can enhance the security of your email and how you can securely access your emails that is received from an untrusted source even if it has, has some malicious content and how do we securely open it and how do we scan the email with an extra bit layer of security on top of what's built with your email provider and we'll also look into some cool features um, such as inbuilt VPN within your browser and some smart integration with your email as well. So without wasting any time further, let me jump into the product that we are talking about and let's start with the demo and the specifics of it. Let's suppose you woke up one fine morning and you received this mail. Congratulations, you are the winner and you have been chosen as a random winner for a thousand dollar prize money sponsored by our XYZ company and please find the attach invoice. And there is a link as well that you can look into for further details of the website. At first glance, it looks legit. Uh, and the attachment looks uh, invoice with um, the Excel format. And it could have been received from a trusted source, maybe um, someone with a company domain address. So what could be the reason to worry, right? So let's try to open this. Let me download this. Okay, The attachment has been downloaded. And open the attachment and you see i just opened the excel file and it automatically opened one more application which is calendar over here right so this calendar was automatically opened with the excel itself i did not open it so it was built in macro that particular excel so this excel is just an as an example i don't have any other malicious code that i could use as part of this demo so that's why this is a sample malicious code and Instead of this calendar application, this could have been any other application that could harm your system or that could, uh, you know, uh, steal some information from your system and, and so on. So let me open it again just to show you that, that yes, uh, it was opened with the Excel itself. So this was the attachment. I clicked on it and it automatically opened the calendar application because of the built in macro that it has. So how do we secure ourselves from such malicious code and how do we make sure that we are not a victim of cyber crime answer to that question is this particular application which is square x this is absolutely free of cost and it has tons of features i will explain you each feature one by one the way to get started with it just scroll down to the page and add this to your chrome so this will be a chrome extension you just have to sign up from your gmail okay so you have to do add to Chrome okay, and click on add extension. Okay, once it is added, you can just go over here and select to pin it so that you can manage it from here. Right? So if you click on that, just click on get started and it will ask you to sign up. So sign up with Google. and select the account that you want to use uh, with it continue all right now click on it it has these many features and we'll talk uh, about these features one by one first is a disposable browser what that means is you can select any region of your choice that is available over here and we'll it will open a browser within browser which will be a sandbox and you can securely access your websites or your links on that particular browser so what i mean by that let's say i'm currently in india so i want my browser to be initiated from a location let's say from uk and i hit start right so it will open a sandbox it says disposable browser it will be a sandbox in uk region so there'll be some server running in uk region and this will deploy a, it could be a container it could be a serverless function so it will open a browser inside that browser so this is my additional browser so if i check what is my ip what is my ip and now it is showing my ip location as london and it's deployed on amazon data services AWS data center and it's from the London location and this is the IP right so you could 
potentially open any website that is blocked in your country and you could open that using the inbuilt so this could be viewed as a vpn or you can call it a disposable browser but this is an amazing feature and it has a time limit of 10 minutes after 10 minutes if you go back uh, let's click over here if you go back let's say i selected the uk you can cancel this one and it will dispose the browser right the browser has been disposed if you go back this your browsing history has been deleted and start a new session if you want this right and now if you go back to the email it says it has a link we don't know what that link is and if you don't want to open that in our browser what you can do is you can right click on that and go to open in square x and select the region let's say canada now it will open the link in that particular sandbox browser situated in canada region it will not be in your local system it will not be on your local browser it will be running on a sandbox so this link that i redirected to it, this is our website link this is our community website but it could be a malicious link so just to be sure that you are not opening anything that could potentially harm your system you can open that in your disposable browser and once you are done you can just dispose of the browser so click on that and cancel this it will dispose the browser okay so that was the first feature the second one click on that this disposable file viewer what that means is you can download the file let's say if you have downloaded the file already it could already have downloaded the virus or the the damage would have already been done but let's say you have a file in your local system and you're not sure about the content of it so what you can do is you can start a disposable file viewer from here it works the same way as a disposable browser it just you can upload or download your file to this particular sandbox and you can view its content and it starts a timer of 10 minutes again right so you can browse the file let's say select this one okay and it will show you the content of the file in the disposable browser right and once you are done you can just dispose the file viewer dispose okay you can click over here dispose okay that's been disposed as well now going back to the third feature which is disposable email this is pretty neat and i really like this one so let's say you need a temporary email because you don't want to uh, you know spam your email uh, with the with tons of email from the providers marketing email and you want something that you want to use for only one time right so what you can do is you can so there are um, emails auto generated for you that you can use you can click on regenerate as well if you want a new one let's say i have regenerated this i'll copy this one now you want to sign up to any particular website let's say canva now enter the email that you have just copied from the disposable email hit continue okay give it a name create your account and it will ask you to enter the code I don't have access to the email how do i access the code it will be over here you see a notification generated just right here so you can copy the uh, code generated from here and you can paste it right and that's it you are in so you have successfully signed up to a website using a temporary email and you can do this as many times as you want now the next feature the next one is smart integrate so earlier when we see the email over here it says can by your email provider whatever it is and it does not show that it could potentially harm your system or it is a potential malware or anything else but what you can do is you can go to that feature smart integration hit settings and you enable these two options now it will scan for the malicious document as a additional check on top of what's inbuilt with your email provider go back now it says malicious document so let's say you want to view its content without downloading it or without opening this in your browser or in your system so you do the same thing that you do did with the link so you right click on that open in square x and select a region 
now it will open the file in the disposable browser or the disposable file viewer without downloading it or without accessing it locally so this is it it and again this file viewer will be disposed in 10 minutes so you have until then you can extend the time as well so there will be another option coming over here in next few minutes which says extend the time by 10 more minutes so you can click on that so this is pretty neat i really like this chrome extension and uh, i'll be using it for a lot of things so so let me know in the comment section uh, which feature did you like the most and why and i hope this video was informational i hope you really liked it if you like the video give it a thumbs up and i will share the uh, sign up link in the description section so do check that out do sign up it's free of cost and it's secure and uh, it has these many uh, you know cool features so try it out and let me know how it works and uh, thank you so much for watching i will see you soon with the next video